Here's a drop dead gorgeous car. My father's the owner here and seen, I don't know how many tens of thousands of cars come through here. He's in love with this thing. A red on red 69 Chevelle with a 375 horse L78 motor, four speed, gauges, tilt. This is the ultimate 69 Chevelle. You can go back to 1969 in a time machine and order the most kick-ass ultimate 69 Chevelle. This is it. And it's restored at least as good as new. I'd say better because the finishes, the body and paint, a little nicer than it would have been on day one. Got the hood open, so take a peek in here. It's got about 18 miles since it's been done, but it's all new. I mean, the wiring, the right, uh, you know, the wrapped uh, thermostat wire, uh, cadmium plated brake booster, all the finishes are beautiful. Has a deep groove pulleys for the uh, you know, high revving solid lifter motor. It's got the big port heads, aluminum intake. It's code 52 for Garnet Red. 788 is the interior code, which is dark red. The fit and finish is outstanding. T3 headlights. And all the moldings and trim, lenses, everything is new on this car. This is a $100,000 restoration. Has the optional strike. Reproduction tires, restored wheels. Still has the plastic in the middle there. New windshield, all the trim, visors. Window seals, it's all new, new, new. Take a look in there. Look at the dash, the heater controls, the bezels, the gauges. Brand new. All the vents, the knobs, even the seat belts are new. That is a retro stereo. Has an auxiliary plug. That's a nice upgrade. Not only is the upholstery new, but even the cushions are new, which makes the upholstery fit properly and it's also nice and firm when you sit on it. It's all new. Look at even the bracket holding the seat is new. Everything. Look at the door jams. The window cranks, window handles. Inside the trunk, new, new, new. Matching spare and restored wheel. The jack is still wrapped in bubble wrap. All the metal on this car is bone dry, super nice clean metal. And all the finishes are better than factory. Everything across the back of the car, the trim, the tail lights, cowbell exhaust tips. This side is equally as good. This was the biggest motor they had to offer in 69. Of course, you could not get air conditioning. It was rated at 375. I just read an article. They were actually dynoed at 425. That would be the true horsepower on a stock L78 as it left the factory. Correct antenna. 
The underside will knock your socks off. It's the best underside I've seen in a long time. I mean, the gas tank is like a mirror. The chassis is detailed out. Every single little clip, nut, bolt, whatever it is, is brand new looking underneath this car.